This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and as usual, I'm here, right here alone. I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshinokeye. Hello. What this is this, Tea Time on Plus TV mean? Africa, and my mean? name is Elsie Godwin. What does this mean? What? What does this mean? Some people say it's a sign of the devil, but and I just see it as a sign of a swear. <laughs> okay, so you're doing it for swear. swear. So, no, stop. Mm. That sounds very irritating, actually. I swear. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, moving on to the first story. R. Kelly is to pay child support with royalty money. The singer's ex is now allowed to use his royalty checks to back child um, support. This is coming after he fell months behind on payments to his three children. After a brief hearing on Monday, lawyers for um, Kelly and his ex-wife emerged with an order allowing the singer's $20,000 monthly payments to be deducted from payouts from his music distributors. Kelly paid um, child support in May to cover payments due through July, but has not made a payment since then. I mean, we all know that the guy is in jail, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But he still has to be responsible. I mean, it's not... It's even interesting it's to know that he's still making money. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good. It's not the children's fault that is in prison. Mm. So, if there's a way to pay them and take care of their needs. I mean, mm. they should go ahead and take all the money. Yeah. But what if, um, now that this um, judgment has been passed and they realize that he, he, he's not making up to $20,000 a month from the royalties, what will happen? That's quite impossible for um, someone like Al Kelly not to be making up to $20,000 a month from royalties because mm. the um, R&B legend is the king of R&B after Michael Jack. No, uh, uh, Michael Jackson was the king of pop, is the king of R&B. Mm, so, you know, they've deliberately stopped promoting his content. Yeah, they well, stopped promoting his content, but, yeah, yeah, they're boycotting all of that, but it doesn't stop your streaming views. It doesn't stop... It reduces it. To what? Yeah. No, 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 no. When it stops it when the people that do not want to associate themselves with you do not want to associate no more. Now, we have people that still play songs in Malaysia, in Dubai, in Korea, in China, everywhere. Okay, now the now, thing is, a lot of this um, streaming platform yeah, don't even promote We're not even song. talking about streaming platform. Royalties doesn't even have to do with your streaming platform. No, I thought we were talking about the streaming platform. I'm not talking about the royalties. No, I'm talking about the royalties because that's what the yeah, story is saying. Digressed. I did? Oh, okay. Mm. Sorry about my digression. So back to the um, subject matter. Um, royalties is when they play your songs anywhere. They, play, they still play Al Kelly songs in clubs in China, in Korea, in Malaysia, in um, Dubai, wherever. How do you know this for sure? Because I How do I know this, this for global, sure? Because um, I mean, the, everybody's watching this um, mm. Case. case and people feel some type of way about it already. I was still in the club on Friday and I still listen to an Alkali song in the club in Nigeria out here. Mm -hmm. It's entitled to this royalty as long as you play my song in a public environment. Nobody's even saying he's not entitled to his royalties. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that um, what she was just trying to say is that if he's getting enough to sort the bills. I'm saying it's impossible for an Al Kelly not to get enough $20, for royalties, $20,000 to pay for child support. It's impossible. Okay. Like, even if we look at the factual side of it, it's impossible for an Al Kelly not to be getting that much mm. on royalties. Let's forget about the streaming platforms. Let's forget about how much he's making from YouTube. Let's forget how much he's making for Spotify and all those other platforms. Mm. We're talking about royalties. Do you understand? He is definitely making that much money. And he can pay. Even if, I, I don't know, even if he's not making that much money, whatever he's making, they should just give it to the children. They need it more than it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the next Don't story. marry anybody like Ewa. <laughs> right. According to Why? You, <laughs> the children don't need the money. They do. Mm. Come on. They need to fix their life. It's not their business that their father is into that kind of thing. Okay. So according to new details on the California murder that occurred earlier this month, Ron Ely's um, son was shot 24 times by police after pretending to draw a weapon. Responding officers found Valerie, that's his mother, inside the home. Um, she was dead with multiple stabs wounds and then went looking for Cameron after his father, Ron Ely, 
confirmed that he was the suspect. Cameron told deputies he had a gun, advanced towards them, and mentioned with his motioned with his hands as if he was um, joined a weapon. In response, four deputies fired 24 rounds at him. Cameron was a former quarterback on the Harvard University football team who graduated with a degree in psychology. So this story is really sad. Mm. For someone who graduated with um, a psychology degree, it's so sad that he has a psychological issue mm. because um, at the end of the day, your mother, you killed your mother, mm. and then you try to blame it on your father. And mm. then, obviously, this guy has mental health issues, mm. or he had mental, because it's late now, he had mental health issues, because if you feel like um, no matter what you go through, it's enough for you to kill your mother, then that means you're, you're insane. Because they say that your parents are like a semi-god here on Earth, right? So if you do that, then I believe that this guy has. So they should check his history. Mm. They should check his background. They should check everything. Even though he's late now, he can't defend himself. But we need some, um, what's it called now? Some background story on mm. his mental health issue. How he has been coping. His state of living. How he was treated as a child. And a lot of that because we know a lot of um, celebrity children tend to go awire because um, they have everything at their beck and call. So I'm not saying that that's the reason for him to be acting um, erratic and all of that. But at the end of the day, it's so sad that he's dead. Well, rest in peace shots. to him. Rest in peace to the mother. 24 but then shots there is, is no uh, joke. Um, investigations are still going on from the corona side mm. to the whole forensic and all that. So I really ascertain, fine, they are dead, but what really happened, mm. right? And I think my heart goes out to the father, Ron Ellie, and um, the two, she has, he has yeah. two It's only an investigation, too, because yeah, so. um, he was accused of being the reason for the mother's death before... Mm. Um, Roy was killed, right? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's just... The accusation was coming from Roy, actually. Roy, yeah. yeah. No, it was coming from Cameron. He is um, um, Ron. Roy. Roy. Yeah, yeah. 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 so it was coming from Cameron. Cameron. And it's um, so, someone that is suffering from um, stroke already. I feel like this is just... Uh, devastating. Yeah. Using a child and a mother and, and, a and a wife at the same time. And it's is not very like devastating. somebody killed them, the son killed his mother. And mm. I don't blame the police for firing that shot because, I mean, if you're dealing or with 24. somebody. If you're dealing with somebody that. No, if that somebody is, says yeah. he has a weapon, the officer's life comes first. Especially when that person is, like he first said, because. Kind it's, of it insane. It was erratic. It was misbehaving. Someone that just stabbed his mother right there. I mean. You can't blame them. And then if your father was actually the guilty one, why are you claiming to pull out a gun? Mm -hmm. Why are you not facing the wrath of the law and stating your statement and saying that, look, I'm completely innocent. This is exactly what happened. And they had to and search the garage to, to the... find him. He was like trying to hide from Yeah, and it was outdoor. Mm. It wasn't even in the premises, mm. do you understand? But the person who you are uh, accusing of being the murderer was right there at the scene of the mother. Do you understand? Which, is, which makes it kind of um, dodgy. In and the person has stroke. He can't even move. He can't talk. Talk you know. of mo stabbing someone stabbing multiple you, times. You know, this is sad. I mean, it's just sad for the family, and I can't imagine what the siblings are, are going, going through, through now. Mm -hmm. I heard they are influencers, and they've not put out anything since the news um, came out. Social so. media influencers. Why are you trying to disassociate yourself from them? Mm -hmm. Okay, moving <laughs> to the next. <laughs> um, Tacha and T Bill's um, relationship with NNTS. This is coming from Joy Sibewaji. Um, Joy Sibewaji is a writer, and um, I think she's a media person, and she's been in the game for a very long time. So she wrote this long episode talking about how it seems like T Bill's is not the best manager, or he's not managing Tacha properly, and that he's used to managing artists, musicians, and not a person like Tacha. She also said that it seems she's losing the reason why people love, love her in her. the first mm -hmm. place. And that um, when you're managing a person, it is important that you know that you have to take the back seat and let the person shine. There can't be two celebrities um, at, a at a time. Mm -hmm. And she feels that T. Bills can loves the fame and will not be able to, uh, of course I'm paraphrasing, right? It will not be able <laughs> to take the back seat and let her shine. Mm -hmm. And that this is more like a redemption project for T. Bills himself and not mm. necessarily 
managing touch up. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think about all she wrote? <laughs> I read it well. Mm -hmm. Maybe what she said, some type of way is correct, but I feel like it's just too much analysis for someone else's life, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. Tacha has made that decision to allow TBO's manager. A lot of people were trying to disassociate themselves from her. And if one person is ready to take the um, job and like, come on, I'll do it. I mean, we never can tell, to be honest. I, I mean, TBO's have been able to get her some endorsements and she's doing well. I feel oh, like- She also said TBO's is not very liked in the corporate world. She mentioned that too, so yeah. Go ahead, I just wanted to add that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for now, Tasha, I'm sure Tasha is doing good on her own. Like, I don't think right now there's any problem. And even if any problem comes in future, I mean, they will sort it out or they will fight it out, whatever it is. If she's going to cry, she's going to cry. Do you get it? It's just like, so I feel like she was just really all up in their business. To be honest, it's not a business at all. Hmm. The exactly. most irritating part about the story is that she started with, I'm not trying to knock anybody's hustle, but you're trying to knock my hustle. Mm. If I was TBUs, you're trying to knock my hustle. Actually, because, because apart from Tatcha, other people would probably not want him to manage them. Do you understand? Them. Because, and <clears throat> all through the world, that TBUs money to a savage. Until their breakup and their divorce and everything came into the news and his suicide and all of that, TBUs took the back seat. Mm. If we want to look at his right. track record, he took the back seat. We didn't know T Bills until all of that. Yeah, we knew T Bills. But a lot was, of people actually but, didn't know T Bills. Yeah, but we didn't really know T Bills. So he's somebody that is actually willing to take the back seat and letting you take the shine. So, but one thing I'm going to agree with um, Joy Isi Bewaji with is that um, if you look at Tacha's page right now, she deleted all her old posts, and then she has this new management post, mm. you know, new photo shoots, new this, mm. putting vision. Yeah, if you ask me, because I actually visited her page again, and I found it extremely boring compared to all the house Tasha we used to. Even compared to the Tasha we used to know. Mm. Do you understand? I found mm. it extremely boring because now they're trying to place Tasha. It's understandable that she was disqualified. Mm -hmm. It's not like um, she didn't win. Mm -hmm. You get so we were trying to rebrand that to make her look like because that's the same thing. No disrespect to my brother Kemen, but that's the same thing that happened to Kemen. He mm -hmm. was disqualified from the show as well, and he didn't get enough endorsement because a lot of brands did not want to associate themselves with Kemen. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to do this with a toucher, it's understandable because it's a disqualification. Mm -hmm. It's not like she didn't win. It's not like she just went into the show and then she came out as a finalist or something. Okay. No, she was totally disqualified. So it is understandable that they're trying to rebrand that image and all of that. So let them do their work for a while. If this don't work after a while, then come out and say all of this. So. Say all of what? I mean, you're okay. not even touch her. I've never said my, my own part. <laughs> Wait, let me, I wanted okay. to touch on one thing you first said. Like, if you, you, we don't know their plan. Tasha deleting all her old posts and starting again. You don't know her new plans. What if she went to the house and with everything she has seen, she wants a changed life. She probably don't want to live that life again. We never can tell people. I feel like people need to stop deciding how people want to live their life. or how and they mind their business. Yeah. Drink people, water and mind And mind business. your business. What if Tasha wants a new life for herself? Mm. Why are you deciding what she, what she should be doing on her page or how she should live her life? Comparing her to CC I and mean, all of that. Like, okay, why are you first trying and to foremost, for me, I feel like Kemen's disqualification and Tasha's disqualification is not the same thing. They cannot be compared because right. it's on a different level. That's one. Ah, Kemen, and sorry. secondly, <laughs> yeah, and then secondly, um, I know Joyce Bewaji, not like I know her, know her like friends, but Joyce Bewaji is that woman that gave me my first shot at radio, and I know how she can be. The whole um, article she wrote, I feel like she's coming from a communications person because that's who she is. And she also does a lot of um, media, right. media. Uh, what's the word now? When a reputation is damaged and you want to, um, media reputation Damage management control. for mm -hmm. a lot of celebrities. I used to even know she's the one behind it. And she's someone who has understood what words can do because she's, I mean, she's a very good writer, right? So where she's coming from, if you pick on it, yes, it looked like she was actually trying to knock Tibius um, hustle, like mm -hmm. you first said. But at the same time, it also feels like the Tatcha people loved. Yes, she was disqualified, but so far she still has one of the strongest army 
behind her. And I think Titans. those people, yeah, mm. I think these people loved her for a reason. It's fine if you want to create another image, but you cannot, not like you cannot, if you want to do it, fine. But I don't he think can. it is I mean, right my, my, to my just forget about the person, the person people loved you for. It might, work for. it might work for a while because, I mean, you are just fresh out of the house. People are watching. They want to know what is going on. Everybody wants to be part of that brand, you know. But I think she's looking at the long run. And um, you can't even tell Joy, oh, you shouldn't have done it this way. Because she will still come out and defend why she thought it was nice for her to come out to say whatever it is she said. So I, I just hope that I will be all right. Joy's yeah. um, mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like, she should have given room then she'd be, be like, okay, so this is what I observed from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And now that it's not working out, look mm -hmm. at what is going on. But right now, trying to say something, you know, it's just barely a month or two, right? For me, it's to too be, it's soon not, I, for I don't, people to start criticizing right. other people's also. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It is too soon. Wait a little bit more. For me, I feel like everybody has a right to their opinion, but men, that's the same way everybody has the right to decide what they want to do mm. with their lives. Mm -hmm. You can be an expert, you can want them to do this, you can want, what if they don't want all that? Mm. And then why do I feel like she wants Tatcha to herself? No, she doesn't. Okay. You <laughs> because don't know. you followed her that trail for a you very long know. time. You know she does. I mean, if she's offered the job, she would do it. Mm. But exactly. it's, she's not coming out to write this because she wants Tatcha to herself. Then she shouldn't herself. come out to write nothing And right I feel now. like even no, if no, she like she said, everybody has the right to their child. opinion. And she yeah, exactly. just did her, And so. Tatcha is not a child. Mm -hmm. If she agrees to go with T-Bills, we saw what T-Bills did with Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage is a global star right now. And to be honest, I feel like if um, T-Bills didn't take over uh, managing Tatcha, she, she won't get nothing. Yeah, to be honest. She mm. won't get nothing. Really, okay, has really I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that, but, well, she has, he has, me, I'm the one who came, came out, out to say when they did the whole um, okay, I don't want to start promoting brands, but I know that T Bills have done a lot and she has tried to manage it and get her into places mm. that will work with his own connection. But I'm still saying that she knows what she's saying. I think, I think Joy should just settle her issue with T Bills but, separately. No, she doesn't have right. an issue with no, T Bills. Like does. if you follow her I history, I don't know. You don't need to go to like her she page she should, she should to know not. how she picks on societal issues and any issues she's interested in and talk about it. So this is not for me. I'm glad I don't follow her. I want page. you to like me or I want you to now be my client. No, she just writes and she's writing from what she feels. And I agree with what you have said, I agree with what you have said, but at the same time, I mean, like you said, she has her opinion, and mm -hmm. we all have our opinion of her opinion. So that's that's the right of opinion that we all have, basically. But good luck to Tatcha and mm -hmm. to And please, disappoint Joyce Ibeo. Oh, yeah, I know they will do. Because they're, they're, really they're, they're doing, doing great. great. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always you go to my co cool anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shunkeye. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and stay blessed. <laughs>